Let's go to Diane. Diane, you're on KABC. Welcome. Thank you. Hi, John. Hi, Dr. Victory. Uh, my question is, I just got the prescription today from America's Frontline Doctors for the, hydrox for the hydroxychloroquine, ivermectin, and the z -Pak. So um, when I picked it up, my pharmacist kind of lectured me that um, it's useless, waste of money, it's not going to do anything. And then today, I had an appointment with my doctor, um, um, and he said the same thing. I let him know that I refilled, got the prescription, and I said, why are there so many differences of opinion from doctors? And he wouldn't answer me. He just kept saying, it's been proven, it's been proven, it's been debunked, it will do nothing to help you whatsoever. So I, why is there such a big difference of opinion between doctors? Well, it's a good question, and all I can say is that an awful lot of physicians have failed to do their own research. And I have said more than once during this last year that I'm frankly embarrassed uh, and discouraged about my profession. Uh, people who grew up with and trained at the same time I did, who were taught to question everything, not to read somebody's synopsis of an article, but to read the article yourself, not to listen to some mainstream media talking head talk about what the results of a, of a study was, but to go and read the dang study yourself, poke holes in it, speak with colleagues. And that's what I've been doing from the very beginning. I meet twice a week with hundreds of physicians, not only in the U.S., but around the globe, who are comparing their experiences with this, who are saying, here's what's working, here's what's not working, and understanding that the studies that, quote, debunked uh, the value of things like hydroxychloroquine absolutely were horrifically run studies. They either didn't give the hydroxychloroquine along with zinc, or they gave it way too late after the patient was already significantly ill, not only in the hospital, but getting put in the ICU. Or thirdly, they gave the hydroxychloroquine in toxic megadoses, a dose that no one would ever give to somebody uh, it, it normally. So those three things, either not with zinc, too late, or in too high a dose. So unfortunately, your doctor is misguided. He's misinformed. And that makes me very sad. So I think that a lot of the misinformation. When I talk to physicians who say it doesn't work, I say, did you read the studies yourself? And the answer invariably is no, they didn't. 